Hi everyone, it's a very rough looking day from uh, Pro Tools Answers. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of arranging for a choir today, uh, arranging brothers or preparing to arrange uh, brothers in arms for a choir. And I'm, I was being a little bit lazy and copying over sections um, in the Pro Tools session and it occurred to me that I might be able to answer a question uh, that occasionally pops up um, in the forum and it's about being able to copy the information that's up here on the rulers um, as well as the information that's down here on the playlist. And what I've been doing is wanting to just copy over a simple verse um, by just grab working with the all group, grabbing the whole thing copying to the clipboard, heading over there and pasting. Very, very easy, but I want to take the chords, uh, chords with me. And obviously what we can do is we can still copy and paste things up on the rulers as well, just make a selection up on the ruler bar. And what I tend to like to do if I'm copying ruler-based stuff is I'll copy a grid resolution to the left um, of each side well, of the left of one side, yes, and I'm not. I don't want to be copying that one on bar 36. So, I'll make a selection of uh, one resolution to the left-hand side of of what I want to grab. Press Command C to copy onto the clipboard. Head over, click on the grid resolution on the ruler of where I want to paste, and I'll hit paste, and that pastes my my ruler data in. But we can do the same thing together. And this is where it uh, kind of confuses people a little bit because when we're making selections, we can only really select on the timeline itself. You know, we can't make dual selections really. Um, you know, we can make what looks like timeline selections, but it's not encompassing the ruler. So what I'll do is to be able to copy both the section and the, the ruler data at the same time. I'm gonna make the selection of the, the clips that I want to copy and then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to copy that selection over to the ruler as well. And again, let's just make sure that I, I can deal with that one. I don't think it's going to paste it, but whatever. Um, just extend that selection out to one uh, grid resolution to the left. Hit copy and move over to where I want to paste it. Now I'm going to have to paste it one grid resolution to the left otherwise it's going to end up in the wrong place and that will mean that I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, editing to the MIDI data possibly but also possibly not. Um, so I've got the edit cursor flashing where I want it to land and obviously the all group means that the edit cursor is flashing across all of the tracks that I want to paste it to. I'm going to hold down shift again and I'm going to add uh, an edit selection onto the, the chord ruler as well and then press Command V. And everywhere that has a selection on it will have the thing pasted uh, that I wanted to paste. So there we go, I get my clips and I get my ruler data as well. And obviously we can, you can rinse, lather, repeat for the likes of markers and tempo things, you know, and anything that can be on the rulers, you know, we can copy and paste. It's just a case of knowing how we can do it and possibly even do it effectively. Uh, so there you go. I hope that was interesting, something I could show while I was doing some of my work on my own. Hopefully it'll benefit you guys as well. Um, if you're liking what we're doing here at Pro Tools Answers, uh, give the video a like. Uh, make sure you hit the, uh, uh, the subscribe button and the bell icon that will notify you every time we release our videos. And you can head over to ProToolsAnswers.com and you can subscribe over there. Andy will write to you every week. And you can also sign up for our inner circle over there and read about all the benefits that the inner circle will give you. Um, otherwise, uh, I will catch you on the next uh, Pro Tools Answers episode. Take it easy.